Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome. It is time for a Friday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're talking about circumstances and how they do not dictate your outcomes. You, if you have felt overwhelmed by circumstances or information, be sure to tune in to today's show coming up right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to another bright shiny day on the back porch and another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. I'm back here, I got my, actually I got a new coffee mug today. He's from the, uh, the good folks over at Team Never Quit and um, I got my red on today. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do me a favor, do you a favor, do everybody else in the community a favor, leave a comment. Say hello, say good morning, how you doing, just like Joe and Catherine have already done. Um, put that comment in there and let everybody know you're here. It is Friday, so that means a couple of things. First, it's Free Coaching Friday. And time for another attempt at stumping the coach. If you have a question or a topic you'd like for me to tackle and you think you can stump me, go ahead and put that in the comments. Second thing is you, let's see, oh, it's on this side. A little uh, a red here. And for the last few weeks, anyway, I've um, done my best to have my red shirt on on Friday. And uh, as I mentioned, I got the mug and the bracelet from uh, Team Never Quit yesterday. Came in the mail yesterday. Awesome, and I'm excited about that. Just wanted to mention it's Friday, Red Friday. This Red Friday project is just um, a, an opportunity, one marked day, even though we should do it every day, but one marked day where we can remember that there are uh, our fellow citizens, fellow Americans deployed around the world making what we do possible. We don't want to forget that they are out there. All right, so circumstances are real, but there's always an excuse and there's always a way. Look, let me go ahead and talk about circumstances dictating outcomes for a minute and feeling overwhelmed by them. And, and I was talking with Vicki before we got started this morning. This applies too if you're feeling overwhelmed by information, tasks, to-dos, circumstances, opportunities, any time that you are feeling overwhelmed, <coughs> our brain has this really cool mechanism, this little gang of nerves that hang out every day, and their job is to filter out all the unimportant stuff so that we can register the important stuff. Great example of this, I use this all the time if you're driving, pull up to a traffic light. The, the, the last time you were driving, you pull up to a traffic light. What color was the car in front of you? Obviously, you saw that there was a car in front of you or beside you or past him, you know. But the color, un unless there's some relationship to that color, like it's the same color of your car, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't register. Now, if I ask you about it, you might be able to recall it, but probably not. This So... All of these millions of bits of data that we get in through our eyes and our ears and our nose and our touch and our taste every day, the, the reticular activating system, this little gang of nerves that's hanging out, filters that. Well, so we have to do the same thing when we are overwhelmed by information, by to-dos, by opportunities, by circumstances, by anything. We have to create a filter. Now, you've heard me, may have heard me talk before about the P plus 4F, P4F method. I, I start every day with a to-do list of, with only five things on it. And I share that with people sometimes. They're like, well, I've got way more to do than you do. I'm like, no. I mean, my capture board, I'm not in the office. You can't see it behind me. But the capture board's got hundreds of things on it. But today, I choose to focus on these five things. 
These are the five things that are going to move me toward the outcome that I am working toward. And so I choose to apply my focus to those. When we look at the totality of a circumstance and say, man, there's hundreds of things I've got to get done. Very often we look at that and we say, well, there's so much I have to get done. I don't even know where to start. Let's watch TV, right? Or some other distraction thing. But if you can do the hard work and filter out the five things that make the greatest impact today, that gets you down to five. Then from that five, we apply the 80-20 rule, Pareto principle. 80% of your results are going to come from 20% of the effort. In a five-item list, 20% represents one. So you're going to pick one item off of that list to be the priority item. If you get that priority item done today, no matter what else you do or don't do, today is a win. And if you do a hundred other things today and you don't get that priority item done, today's a loss. But that's okay because tomorrow is a new day. Right? Pretty simple. So if you want some, uh, some help, some more detail about how to implement that, you can go to the website tomrigsby.com slash the letter P, the number four, the letter F. P4F. Uh, tomrigsby.com slash P4F. That'll get you to the right place. Yeah, <laughs> Catherine says she was sleeping. Remind me not to drive around Gunnersville very often. All right, so so that's it, right? When any time that you're feeling overwhelmed, remember that you have to create a filter, and the filter this you know this kind of comes back, and you heard me say it just a minute ago. What's going to move you toward the goal? You have to know what the goal is in order to make those informed decisions. So understand, get really clear on the outcome that you want to create. Figure out what the five things are that you can do today that will move you toward that goal and then work on getting those done. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back here on Monday with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys take care. See ya.